I'm Layla. Welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today we are going to be reading the lore story for Allure. Really excited about this one. This goes along with Call of the Arbiter. We're going to be reading this one out loud together. I haven't checked it out yet, so I hope you enjoy her in-game lore story. Allure could not remember her childhood very well. She had a home up in the hills and out of sight. It was an old castle that from the outside appeared abandoned, but was clean, well-kept, and warm deep within. She remembers having toys, playing with friends, and exploring the dusty corners of her home. She remembers finding none of that strange. Later, she learned the truth, that her innocence was bought with blood and pain from all around her. As far as the world outside was concerned, demons spawn like her were not born of loving parents. They did not have friends, toys, or childhoods. They did not grow up. To the people of Teleria, the demon spawn were monsters. They crawled from pits in hellish Enthrad, servants of the Dark Lord of Shadow Seroth. They were evil to their core. Their existence was bent purely to the destruction of all living things, and their bloodlust was unending. To the people of Teleria, the demon spawn were an existential threat, and any sane human, elf, orc, or lizard man would draw steel and kill a demon spawn without a moment's hesitation. Shielding Allure from the world outside took perpetual vigilance from her family. She had no concept of the sacrifices that her parents made, that all the demon spawn around her made, to exist at all in Teleria, the secrecy, the lies, the danger entailed with every outing for food and supplies, the preparation every day to fight for their lives, all these burdens carried by the adults around her so that Allure could live a happy life. It did not last forever. Someone hiding in the castle must have made a mistake, or perhaps finally her family ran out of luck. Either way, the sacred order fell upon them, banner lords, forces by their side. Allure was the only survivor, and she would not have been that it were not for the actions of Bad El Khazar. Allure never learned why he came to the castle. She knew, however, she had been moments from death. It was Kazar's hand that saved her, and it was that hand which led her to safety. She could not help but look past his terrifying visage, for she saw in him a protector. He promised to make her strong. After she witnessed the slaughter of her family, how helpless her defenders had been, strength was the only thing she wanted. And so Kazar gave Allure strength. While the relationship lacked the warmth that she grew up with, Allure did not resent the lack. Indeed, as far as she was concerned, the warmth of her childhood left her helpless when danger had finally come. So she trained as hard as Kazar demanded, then even harder still. Kazar honed Allure into a blade. She mastered stealth, magic, and the art of the sword, and Kazar conducted dark rituals that unlocked the power of Allure's demonic blood and increased her power further. By Allure's early teens, she was among the most skilled assassins in all of Teleria. She longed to be let loose, to be sent on missions of mass destruction against the Banner Lords. But Kazar refused, bending her instead towards furthering his own inscrutable interests. She was frustrated, but she obeyed. She trusted Kazar, for his strength had saved her, protected her, and prepared her for the world in a way that nothing else had. That trust would prove misplaced. For a blade, no matter how strong, is but a tool. And tools once broken may find themselves discarded. Well, guys, I gotta say, this was not the story for Allure that I expected. I thought it was pretty good, though. And again, we know that Allure is going to be kind of meshing in with Call of the Arbiter. We know Bad Alcazar is a part of that, too. So I really like how they, you know, they're tying this all in together. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this story. And thanks so much for watching.